is Empress Virgo, Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this time of love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Speaking of support. I have a book out, my project, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher is available now wherever books are sold. And I hope you guys would consider purchasing a copy. Uh, I have the link listed below in the description box. If you don't want to click the link, you can just go and type in the book name and look for that cover right there. And thank you guys for even considering uh, supporting the project. It really means a lot to me, okay? So let's get into the reading, okay? So as a split the deck, we have the strength card and the king of swords. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Capricorn? Ooh, excuse me. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Place, and sometimes I burp or have the hiccups when I uh, do readings though. So excuse me. Romantic love messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I got a song stuck in my head, y'all. Forgive me. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's see. Got the Ten of Swords. Yep. The Five of Swords. The Emperor. Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. The Death Card. Six of Cups. And the High Priestess. Overall energy, the Daughter of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. So you got an offer coming your way. And this is after... Ooh, child. Okay. That's... that's the, <laughs> get excited, y'all. This is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy with King of Pentacles. Okay, so... Somebody is coming to match your energy. With the uh, Ten of Swords here, you were dealing with somebody in the past who wasn't... That one, they wasn't it, okay? Ten of swords, five of swords. This is the energy that they had you in. I feel like y'all dealt with that person for quite a, a while, okay? Five to ten years, I know, that you were dealing with somebody. And baby, and they was giving you the blues. Do you hear what I say? Uh, I feel like y'all had to get yourself out of that particular situation and realize that you needed or deserved better than what you were getting as the emperor energy right there, okay? You took back control of your life, okay? Um, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you realized if it wasn't a connection where someone was working with you and y'all were pouring into the connection, the relationship equally, then you didn't want it. I feel like as you removed yourself from that situation and began to rebuild yourself and build yourself back up, this is, this is how you're seeing yourself now, okay? You're the star of the show, the king or queen of the show. You know what you value in a relationship, in another person, and within yourself, and it's showing. This is how people will see you now, sitting in this energy of the Six of Wands, okay? You're focusing on yourself, and you're getting a new beginning. You're getting all the abundance that you want for yourself, in life, and in love in general. And if you say, well, I don't see it now, it's coming, okay? You have to, it's like sometimes things take a while to manifest in a quantum realm, into the, from the quantum realm into this realm, okay? Just keep that in mind. I feel like a lot of y'all have been hoping, wishing, and praying, and healing, and trying to get things to go your way, and it's coming along slowly but surely, okay? You got the new beginning coming because you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Death card here. You're coming upon a soulmate, or you're going to meet someone who is going to be pouring into the relationship just as much as you are okay this new connection it might start off slow with the page of pentacles but this person they're serious about you okay they're coming with the same energy that you come with in relationships okay it's gonna be reciprocal six of pentacles okay damn okay okay reciprocal in everywhere 
Ace of Wands, okay? So, I feel like a lot of y'all might be a little bit skittish because and traumatized from the past, but Spirit is telling you, trust your intuition on this one. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they're not like someone from the past. Give them a chance and let them prove to you, show and prove to you what it is that they're coming to bring as an offer to you. What are they offering? Are they going to be reciprocal and pour into the relationship? Let them show that to you. Let them prove themselves to you. Listen. Don't talk all the time. Let them talk and tell you about themselves and actually show you what they're all about. I'm just saying. Capricorn placements. Okay. All right. Divine Holy Spirit. What additional messages do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? For whenever they happen to watch this reading. Okay. Told you. Partnership. A partnership values stability, emotional integrity, shared goals, and purpose. Enjoy the beauty of this <clears throat> bond while you're building your future together. So you're going to be with someone who is going to... Pour into the relationship, and it's going to be a reciprocal partnership. Remember, I was telling you that Six of uh, Cups energy, Six of Wands energy, Ace of Cups energy. You're not settling for less than what you deserve, okay? Additional messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, okay? So your friends, some of y'all, your friends are going to help you make this connection, or they're going to help to support this connection, uh, this relationship that comes along. Sisterhood. The value of true sisterhood is priceless. The support and guidance from of guidance of someone's sister or female friend, whether physically or spiritually, should be considered. So for some of y'all, like I said, you're going to have people supporting the connection and the relationship with this new person that comes in, okay? Just saying. Whether they be um, this, uh, whether this person that's supporting the relationship be in the physical or in the ancestor realm okay for somebody that's really important to know just saying okay damn that popped up okay all right anything else that one flip in reverse so so some of y'all got to get out of your ego when dealing with a new connection don't let stuff from the past trip you up okay so anyway physical touch Small physical gestures such as a hug, kiss, holding hands, and intimacy are great examples. This may be your or your love or your person's love language. I can't talk, y'all. Okay, so this person, this new person that you're connecting with, that they or you both like physical touch as your love language. Anything else for Capricorn? Can make this shit up. Mirrored souls. This card signifies that you have met your spiritual other half or will be meeting them soon. This is also confirmation of balanced masculine and feminine energy within oneself. And on the bottom of the deck, we have words of affirmation. Never be afraid to express your true feelings with the one you love. Seize the opportunity to let someone know that you are missed or love this may be your or your person's love language okay so this person that's coming in y'all might like physical touch words or affirmations whatever it is this relationship will be supported by someone an ancestor whether it be a passed on sister or whoever somebody in your bloodline or their bloodline uh, that's bringing you guys together because y'all are supposed to be together. Mirrored souls, that's Six of Cups energy, soulmate energy. Whoever this person is, y'all are going to have a true partnership that's going to be supported by the people here in the 3D realm as well as in the ancestor realm, okay? So don't doubt the connection that's coming towards you, okay? It's going to be divinely guided towards you and divinely protected, okay? So that's all I have for Capricorn, Simon Rising, and Venus Placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.